So here's the last piece of the lab. We're gonna talk about prediction and confidence intervals. Um, I've made a model, uh, summary M1. This is a model to try to predict the highway mileage of a car based on its displacement. And I've got uh, an estimate um, for my slope. Um, and I could do predictions on that model if I wanted to. So I could just predict on M1, new data is equal to a data dot frame where the displacement is equal to four. So if a car had an engine displacement of four liters, I would predict that the fuel uh, economy would be 11.17. Uh, that actually sounds like something that I shouldn't be predicting because that would be way off. So let's try predicting if the displacement was 2.4. Okay, if it was 2.4, I'd predict a fuel economy of 24.45, somewhere in here. That would be my point estimate, my yi hat. Um, but then we could do uh, a, a prediction for a car with 2.4 liter engine. I'm just gonna put that in here uh, and we'll make it a confidence interval. So if I run this, I get that fitted value, but then I also get a, um, a lower and an upper. And if we were gonna interpret the confidence interval, it would be, we are 95% confident that the mean fuel economy for cars with 2.4 liter displacement is between 23.78 and 25.12 miles per gallon. That's not a huge range, that's like a two mile per gallon range. Uh, but then we could do the same thing for a prediction interval. I'll put in 2.4. If I run this, now I have a much wider interval. And the way I would interpret this is we are 95% confident that the fuel economy for a particular car with a 2.4 liter engine displacement is between 17.26 and 31.64 miles per gallon. So if I have to get it right about a particular car, I'm gonna give you a much wider interval. And in the lecture videos, we talked about the standard error formulas that make that so. Um, we could also uh, visualize that confidence interval over the whole model with SE equal true in our geom smooth. So we could see like for 2.4, here is our, our confidence interval. Um, and then the, the confidence interval for the mean, is always narrowest uh, toward the mean value of the explanatory variable. And that'll always be true. So I think that's the only piece of new code that you need in order to do your homework for this week.